In today's story time, we are going to be reading a book which is called The Cook and the King. Here we have the cook and here we have the king. This book was written by Julia Donaldson, she's the author, and it was illustrated by David Roberts, he is the illustrator. Now, Julia Donaldson, she is the very talented author who also wrote The Gruffalo. I'm sure you know The Gruffalo. All right, let's read. The Cook and the King. We turn the page and the first page we see here, there is a tree and there are some very noble ladies, noble looking ladies, and they're putting up a little poster. And the poster says, wanted royal cook. Hmm, I wonder what this book is about. They say, wanted royal cook. Hmm, is the king looking for a new cook? Maybe. The cook and the king. There once was a very hungry king who needed a cook like anything. He is very hungry, isn't he? What is he eating? Is that pizza from a box? That's not a proper lunch for a king, is it? No, he definitely, definitely needs a new cook. So he tried out lots and lots of cooks with their pots in their pens and their cookery books. Really, lots and lots of them, aren't there? Some of them are tall, so this one is really, really short. Some cooks are women and some cooks are men in this picture. Brilliant. One by one, they cooked for the king. They cooked and they cooked like anything. But nothing they cooked was good enough. This egg is runny. This meat is tough. Too hot, too cold, too, too sour, too smelly. I don't want a sausage inside my jelly. This tastes all wrong, said the hungry king. And he frowned and he frowned like anything. Can you see the sausage inside the jelly? Well, I wouldn't want to eat that either. No way. But then he spotted another cook with feet that shuffled and hands that shook. My name, said the cook, is Wobbly Bob. I'm a bit of a wimp, but I'd love the job. The king thought hard, then he scratched his head. I fancy some fish and chips, he said. Yes, fish and chips is my favourite dish. But first, you will need to catch the fish. said the cook. I'm feeling scared. I'd love to fish if only I dared, but a shark might land in the fishing net or I might get my nice new apron wet. My knees are knocking, the cook declared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm terribly scared. I'll help you fish, said the hungry king. So he fished and he fished like anything. He caught some fish that were nice and big. Then he said to the cook, it's time to dig. Uh, help, said 
to the cook, I'm feeling scared. I'd love to dig, if only I dared. But I'm scared of worms, and I'm scared of ants. They might crawl into my nice new pants. My palms are sweating, the cook declared. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm terribly scared. I'll help you dig, said the hungry king. So he dug and he dug like anything. Then he said to the cook as he licked his lips, mm, chop these potatoes into chips. Now if you're making chips, of course you need some potatoes and you need to chop them. said the cook. I'm feeling scared. I'd love to chop if only I dared. But knives I sh are sharp and I might get hurt. I might get blood on my nice new shirt. My heart is thumping, the cook declared. I'm scared, I'm scared. I'm terribly scared. He is a bit of a wimp, isn't he? I'll help you chop, said the hungry king. So he chopped and he chopped like anything. Then he said to the cook who was standing by. Can you see the hungry king chopping? It's a lot of potatoes. Out with the pan! It is time to fry! Help! said the cook. I'm feeling scared. I'd love to fry if only I dared. But oil can splatter and spit and splat. A drop my, might land on my nice new hat. My teeth are rattling, the cook declared. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm terribly scared. What do you think the king is going to do? You're going to help him? I think so. I'll help you fry, said the hungry king. So he fried and he fried like anything. Then he sat at the table and took a seat. And he said to the cook, it's time to eat. Mm, it looks yummy, doesn't it? Mmm, good, said the cook. So the two men shared. What great cooking, the king declared. What well-chopped chips and what well-fried fish. All in all, mmm, a delicious dish. It tastes just right, said the full-up king. And he smiled and he smiled like anything. Look, the cook is quite enjoying it and he wants a piece of nice fish as well. A little cat. Congratulations, Wobbly Bob. You may be a wimp, but you've got the job. The end. Well, that was a fun one, wasn't it? Did the cook make the meal? Did he even do anything? Or was it the king who did the whole thing? I quite like this story. How about you?